Hello everyone, my name is Sonny. I'm with CMH3 Studio and today's topic is quantum computers and it's a follow-up to some previous videos where I talked about Elon Musk creating a company uh, called Q that would develop, uh, manufacture, and provide uh, cloud uh, resources to the other uh, companies that Elon is over such as SpaceX and Tesla. In another video, I talked about a floor by floor, um, you know, what would be on each floor, like a second floor was fabrication, third floor was uh, the data center. But uh, today I'm taking it a little step further and I wanna show you what uh, this could really look like with a really nice 3D render. Uh, in the description, I'll put a link to the gentleman who was able to do this for me. His work is incredible and you'll, I think you'll agree. So remember the company is called Q and the building was gonna be in the shape of a Q. Well, check this out. This is a, six, a render of a six story building that will be the headquarters uh, for the Q company where they do all the design and fabrication. Uh, this is where all the employees work. And then I don't know if you remember, but uh, I said there'd also be a park at the top. so. That's pretty cool. Check this out. There is a park indeed on the top floor. So this building would basically be six floors, about 259,000 square feet. And at a cost of $103 per square foot, this is Kansas City, Missouri uh, numbers, uh, would cost about $26.6 million to build. The land itself, which would be roughly 10 acres, would cost about 750,000, bringing the total uh, land and building costs to somewhere between 27.5 and 30 million dollars to create this uh, uh, building that would house the Q company. Uh, so here's a recap uh, if you don't remember uh, what each floor would have on it. Uh, the first floor would be the lobby where you would come into the uh, front doors there, come into the lobby. There would be a museum about quantum computers. Uh, just you know some like old references and maybe some cutouts of how quantum computers are put together. On the first floor would also be all the conference rooms, uh, the cafe, the gym, uh, a library. And then on the second floor, you would have your clean room and fabrication. Third floor would be the Q data center where all your actual quantum computers are on the racks and then on the fourth floor, we'll have all our accounting and offices and managers. Fifth floor, we're going to have uh, research and development and also the executive conference rooms and offices. And of course, the sixth floor, if you remember, had the indoor track uh, with the park on the inside loop. So here's that floor one again. Uh, remember, uh, we changed the front door from the side here to down in the queue's tail right here. Uh, but everything else is still the same. You have your conference rooms, you have your kitchen and seating area, the gym and the library, your mail room, uh, restrooms on the north and south side. There is a guest office. And then of course your elevators are on the north and south side plus stairs. Uh, this particular uh, layout you know you can change it around but uh, it's basically this is areas that are accessible probably not so much with security I mean you would definitely have security on the second through uh, sixth floor but uh, down here you could have also possibly where you can do conventions in this uh, space as well so it could be more than just uh, space or Q's use, the quantum companies use, you could use it for other um, city or organizational events. Moving on, this is some of the uh, inside ideas that I had for the lobby area. Again, I would probably change this to a quantum computer like chandelier. I thought that would be neat. Here's what uh, the lobby could look like from looking inside out. And then of course, all the hallways and conference rooms around the uh, building on the first floor would look something like this as well. Here's your uh, idea for conference rooms and cafe. But here, looking from the east side of the street, you would then uh, see how this building is put together. 
the uh, circle drive here would be most likely not for everyday uh, people who work at the office, but probably for guests and probably for um, just special personnel who are coming to visit the office. But uh, right here would be your front doors, and this is your main lobby area right here. Again, looking from the east side, this just gives you another point of view of what that could look like. You got your Teslas parked in the circle drive here. I think this building turned out really, really nice. I love it. I love the, uh, the I don't know if that's copper or bronze, uh, orange looking pillars on the outside. And this turned out really good. Remember, the second floor is your clean room and fabrication. Uh, it's your chip lab and your materials lab as well. So this is where all that construction would go. And it'd be similar to any other Silicon Valley clean room. Uh, this is where all that work would happen on the second floor. It would be secured as well. And here's kind of view from the north side of the building. Different time of day type picture. On your third floor is your Q data center and assembly. You also have your communications lab and your control room. You also have some data storage down here in the Q's tail. This is what those quantum computers on their racks would look like. I would imagine that this entire floor is filled with possibly 50 quantum computers. Another view of a quantum computer. Data storage. This is a view from the west side of the building, looking back towards the rest of the uh, uh, lower level here, or the uh, lobby area. So this is your first floor, second floor, third floor, fifth floor, and then the sixth floor is this. Did I say that wrong? First, second, third, fourth, fifth, and then the sixth floor. Sorry about that. Your fourth floor is your main office area with all your... Uh, developers, your programmers, your engineers, uh, obviously you will have your rac relaxation pods. I think that's uh, a pretty cool idea. This, The idea for this entire area is open space without any cubicle walls or anything like that. Your relaxation pods. This is a view from the south side of the building. I think this is gorgeous. I love how it turned out. Your fifth floor is uh, going to house your research and development rooms and your uh, accompanying test labs for those R&D. You also have your north and south uh, executive conference rooms and your executive offices. This is what those research and development rooms could look like. And this is what your executive offices could look like. Totally picture this being the executive office. And this, of course, could be Elon's office. Again, kind of looking from the south side here. This is one of my favorite renders of the building. Turned out gorgeous. And then in the final floor, the sixth floor with the Indoor running track and outdoor park and sauna. There are no executive offices on the sixth floor. That's a mistake. Here's your inside running track, indoor running track, sauna. And then here's some pretty cool renders of the park. All right, guys, that's all I have for you. It's an update on the Q building. Uh, tell me what you think. Put some uh, comments in the uh, YouTube channel here or even on the library uh, video. Please leave me some feedback. I'd like to know what you think about, uh, one, uh, Q being an actual 
company that Elon would put together and two is this building you know good enough you know I think it turned out really nice uh, please let me know what you think don't forget to like subscribe and hit the bell for notification and on library please subscribe or follow and then if you'd like to support the channel click the uh, support button now check out this video